assigns what will happen if this leader, if I, if I am uh, reach a certain number of this in the leaderboard. Switch shows you what will happen. Switch is the is the ability is the I already showed you how to do switch, but you have an idea of what it means. So you have an idea of what it means. Now we're going to define at least one trigger. So we're going to do something. We're going to do elapsed time. We're going to do five seconds. We're not actually going to put this in. We're just going to show you because now we're going to show you the thing. Now center view. Center view is only something you can assign with a location. It will automatically center in on the location that you were describing. So, example, remember where we showed you rescue? So, we're going to use that. That means five seconds from now, we will have its center view on rescue. Actually, we'll use that in game. So, five seconds after the game starts, it will automatically center view here. We'll do another elapsed time thing because these are the, these are quick to assign. Comment. This is something that you, this is something like putting a comment header in a programming thing. This just means that you're commenting on the on the trigger. It'll be it makes it easier to manage and it makes it makes the trigger small in the trigger box smaller and compact so you can reach other triggers quickly without really the use of much time. Create units means that it will create units at the location. Remember, these are actions. What we were do doing earlier is conditions. So, if we wanted to, like 10 seconds from now, we can create six marines at location rescue to whatever player we want. Condition create units with properties is the same thing as before, except now you can apply a property. You remember that property box that we assigned earlier with the mar with the Marines, Invincible, tr Transit, and stuff? You can open that up, and that's what they will appear with right away. Defeat means defeat. That will that means that you lose the match. Display text will cite, will see how the text thing that you want, unless you describe otherwise. If you put always display on. Draw indicates that the game is drawn. Give units to player. This means that if you have units at the location that belong to you, you can give a quality, either a quality, when it sees, when you see that, that either all of them or a certain number of them, you can assign what units that they are, that are owned by player, whatever, like if we had three, like if there were three marines there, at location, rescue, we and they would be given to player one, this automatically defines this right here would define that all those units automatically join us. Since they are our rescuable units, it doesn't matter. Kill unit automatically kills... The kill unit command automatically kills all units of one thing. For a certain... For whatever player you assign. Kill units at location... Will kill all units for that player at a location. Kill is different than remove. Remove will make the unit simply disappear. Kill will not. Kill will actually give their death animation, and they'll be counted as a death. Leaderboard. This will assign control of the location. This is sign. This is the leaderboard control at location. This leaderboard means that that if you control the most men, that if you control the most men in that location, your score goes up. Your score will go up. You can then a label means you will, will the name of the leaderboard that you have. Control. This is the unit. This is the unit trick. This is the unit leaderboard. That you remember those leaderboard types. This is the unit one. This means that you are. This means that this that for each time you gain one unit, your point goes up. You get one point on the leaderboard, and each time you lose it, each time you lose that unit, your point goes down. Greed. The greed leaderboard is for ore and gas. The kill leaderboard is for the most kills. The points leaderboard is for the most points. You can also you can assign the point type for the you can assign the point type like this. It's sort of an easier way of setting up leaderboards right here. 
but you just but for the points thing you need more triggers for leaderboard resources same thing with that with the most resources control it location leaderboard go um this is the same thing as before with like the gold things are the same thing as before except now you can put an additional number to show what require to show a requirement of what you need leaderboard so these things are the same thing they're just uh they're just now you have a goal leaderboard computer player is simply um assigns if the computer also gets a leaderboard Mini map ping, what will happen is uh, when you have this trigger go off, that means that you'll have a mini map ping appear. Once in a while, in game, you can, in game, when you're playing with another teammate, you can press alt and then tap the mini map to create a ping. This can assign a thing to um, get players to a certain location, maybe to tell them something. Um, you know, fun stuff like that. That just creates an automatic ping. In fact, to make this map more interesting, in fact, to make that one objective that we have more interesting, we'll have a mini map. We'll actually assign a mini map ping at rescue. Modify unit energy automatic. This is what this does. That quality of units, quality of units, which means the number of the quantity of units, which means units, which means number of unit, number of whatever you assign, owned by play, owned by that player at that location, will automatically have its energy assigned to either to whatever percentage you want. It's the same thing as the properties, except you can change it with the trigger. Hanger count is the same thing as, as with the properties thing, except now you can change the hanger count for stuff like vultures or uh, carriers, stuff like that. Modify hit points is the same thing as energy, except now you're modifying the life. Modify resource amount is the same. Modifies the resources amount at the bit at a bit. Modifies the resources amount at a mo at a field, and I just realized I drew a line. I accidentally drew some lines on my arm with this pen I'm holding, so I should probably get rid of that. Um, and uh, shield points basically is the same thing with Protoss shield, except it's with Protoss shielding. You can also assign it to with modded unit, to modded units. Move location is a very difficult trigger to use. Move location on an will move one location from the next. So, for example. If we were to assign location one over here, and we were to make, and we were to actually reach it, we will do a demonstration, it's a small demonstration, because this is a kind of an annoying trigger to figure out. <laughs> to location one. Next. The text message. We'll display a text. We and we'll hit move location. Now what that did is pretty much it moves the location. It moved the location from over here to here. So that means the trigger that starts here would goes here now and not here. So you don't have to make it to there. You go here and then you get that conversation. It's kind of an annoying trigger. It's very difficult to entirely use. Master it correctly. Master that trigger correctly, and you can create some awesome shit. Move units automatically teleport. It's like a teleport thing. You can automatically you can teleport a unit. You can basically move one unit from that look. You move the number a number of that amount of that unit or units for that player. At a location, at location, at 